Let's keep spreading the love with handmade crafts that are easy to obtain, so here it is, the beaded iHeart Keychain. The iHeart U Keychain is a simple bead design that looks fine. It makes a perfect gift not only for Valentine's, but anytime. You'll see that this keychain is great, fast, fun, and easy to make. Almost anyone can do, encoded with a message just for you. So get ready for a tutorial to satisfy your creative needs. Feel free to give this video a like. Enjoy this episode of Turbo Beads. Here's a list of everything you need to make the iHeartU bead keychain. To make the iHeartU keychain, the first thing we'll need to do is to take four feet of string, matching up the ends, making a loop on the other end of the string. Then we're going to take a keychain ring and stick the loop inside of the keychain ring. Then we'll take our two match ends of string and we're going to run those through the loop. While holding the keychain ring and pulling the two match ends string through the loop, you have created a knot. Pull your string tight and this is what your knot should look like. Now that we have the string on the keychain ring, we're now ready to create rows of beads. But before we do that, I'm going to show you a quick trick to help you keep those rows straight. So here's the tip. You can use a straw which will split down the center, making it easier to add beads to it. So just watch close as I split the straw down the center with these scissors. So basically, what we're doing is using the straw as a stabilizer for the row of beads to ensure they maintain a tight formation once added to the string. So now that we have that straw split down the center, we'll add 5 white beads to that straw. Continue watching as I add the beads to the straw. Once you have those beads on the straw, you'll cut off the end of that straw to keep it from showing through the sides, keeping that straw hidden within those beads. Now we can take one end of the string and add those five beads with the straw hidden within to that string. Now that we have those beads on the string, you'll take your other end of string and you're going to run it through all of those beads as well, going in the opposite direction. Once you have that string coming out of each end of those beads, you'll pull both ends of the string until you've reached the top. As you can see, this is the first row. With the first row finished, creating the next row is just the same. Again, you can add 5 beads to a straw, then cut off the end of the straw to keep it from showing through the sides. Then, you'll take one end of the string and add those 5 beads to the string. Then taking the other end of string and running it through all of those beads as well, going in the opposite direction. With that string coming out of both ends of the beads, you'll pull both ends of the string until you've reached the top, bringing all of those beads together. So from here, you should see that we'll keep repeating the same steps when creating additional rows for this project by adding 5 stabilized beads to one end of the string, then taking the other end of string and running it through all of those beads as well, going in the opposite direction, with that string through both ends of those beads, pulling both ends of the string until you've reached the top, bringing all of those beads together. So just continue repeating these steps, creating additional rows, following the pattern as seen at the top of the screen. As a quick tip, remember to take your time when assembling each row of this project, being sure that you follow and place the beads in the correct order as shown at the top of this video so that the pattern turns out correctly. Make sure to pull the string evenly to ensure you have the same amount of string to use on both ends. Again, as an option, you can always use a straw to stabilize and reinforce a row of beads to keep them straightened, aligned, and in place. And of course, not forgetting to cut off the end of that straw to keep that straw from showing through the sides, keeping that straw hidden within those beads. Watching this visual reference, you will see that this pattern should be pretty easy to create with the simple steps and a design of red and white bead rows of five that make up the image of a heart and the words to let you know that you are loved. Of course, there are always many different colors and combinations that you can use for your creation. The creative options are always in your heart and in your hands. Leave a comment below and let me know what other cool color combinations that you decide to use and who will you give your keychain to. The 14th row will be the final row of this project. So once you finish the 14th and final row, you'll tie off each end of string off with a knot to lock all of those beads in place. Be sure to tie the string with knots that are tied nice and secure to ensure that everything stays together. 
With this visual reference, you will see that tying a knot with the end of the string is pretty easy. And again, just be sure to tie off each end of strings with knots that are tied nice and secure, ensuring all the beads stay locked into place and everything stays together. Now that each end of the strings are tied securely and everything is locked into place, all that is left is to carefully cut off the tied loose ends of string and your iHeart U keychain is now complete. And there you have it, simply another lovely bead design that looks fine, that was fast fun and easy to make. Hopefully this tutorial was helpful and you can create one just as great. If there's anything you'd like to add, requests or suggestions, feel free to leave a comment below. And if you are new or you just haven't already, don't forget that you can always subscribe if you want to be notified for more bee tutorials just like this one. Hoping you'll tune in for the next one to satisfy your creative needs. Until next time, keep spreading the love and as always, thanks for watching Turbo Beats.